Once your child has had a rash that is very, very itchy and has been going on for at least two to four weeks or more and it's just not going away, think scabies. Hello everyone and welcome to Pediatrics To Go. Today, I'm Francisca, your co-host, and with me here is Dr. Kwasi Sanusi, your trusted pediatrician, and today she's going to be talking about scabies. On to you. Yeah. Hi, Francisca, and thank you. Um, so the reason why we're talking about scabies today is because it's very common. It's called the itch that rashes. So if you notice a child is really itchy, and next minute he comes up with bumps in the skin, a lot of times that bump might look like it's an insect bite. And if you know the child has not been outdoors and there's no insects that have bitten their skin, you notice that these insect bites are just coming up, they flare up, the child is, is itchy and then it gets better and as it's getting better, new ones are coming up. The reason why we suspect scabies is because it's a mite that is underneath the skin mm -hmm. and unless it's treated, it just stays there and it keeps flaring up. So children usually will have the, the rash on their hands, they can have it um, in between their buttocks creases. They can have it on their legs and on their face, but it's constantly itchy. It can be on their hands, uh, upper arms, behind their elbows, any part of the trunk. And when children, first of all, present, a lot of doctors think it's eczema. Mm -hmm. So we give steroids, and steroids are supposed to help with uh, decreasing the itching and taking the rash away because it's assumed that, oh, the child is reacting to something. But many times children use the eczema cream they don't get better and the rash keeps coming up and parents are like, but how come they have, they've not been outside, they've not been bitten before, why is there all this itchiness and all these rashes? Now, when children come in and we make the diagnosis, it's a clinical diagnosis and most times it's based on history and physical exam. So the history is usually this rash, very itchy, not going away. Then we look at the skin, looks like bug bites. Sometimes the child on their legs, if you notice a child that has a lot of healed insect bites mm. with new ones coming up. Sometimes it could be like flat black spots oh. from children being bitten and they are constantly scratching. Mm. Usually that's scabies. Is it communicable? It's very communicable because when children scratch, the scabies eggs stays underneath their fingertips. Oh. And what happens is if they touch different things, they touch the doors, another child gets it, scratches. That's what you call a child has inoculated their skin with it. And in some countries of the world, there's a 100% prevalence rate where almost everybody has had it. And if you sit on a chair where a child has been itchy, or an adult and has had scabies, or you sleep in a bed where the, there's someone with scabies that has slept in there, most times people get it. So the treatment is actually, first of all, the diagnosis, history, the physical is classic. You'll see the child, you see the rash, it's a classic rash. And because it's a mite, it's alive, it's underneath the skin, it multiplies in millions. Mm -hmm. So once you treat with the right medicine, usually we give a topical medicine that you put on from head to toe in toddlers or from neck to toe, in, depending on the age of the child. You keep it on for 12 hours and usually we'll put it on in the evening about seven in the morning, in the evening. And then by morning time, seven, seven a.m. So 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. That's 12 to 14 hours. Well, usually 12 hours. You wash it off. And then you repeat it again in about one to two weeks. Once you do that treatment, and then in the interim, just give Benadryl or some anti-itchy oral medicine. That helps with the itch. And you can also put some uh, steroid on the skin. Once you treat, you get the diagnosis, you treat, then the child is fine. And that's, and then, that's it. And that's it. But you also have to make sure that because it's a mite that has eggs, make sure that the children's uh, nails are cut short so that they're not scratching and, and make sure that um, reinfect the, themselves. Yes, reinfect. And then, so you cut their nails short. You also wash the beds, the bed is like the bed linen. Even clean your house. You know, put like plastic covers on the mattresses just in case that there are eggs underneath in, inside the mattresses. But just basically clean everything with hot cycle of the washing machine or wash in very hot water um, the bedding, the bed linens, and clean everywhere that the child might have sat. That way. Other people don't get it and the child will be fine. And once that is taken care of, everybody's fine and everybody's happy. Usually when we treat the child, we treat the whole family because most times the whole family has been exposed. Wow. And uh, the medicine, ask your doctor what medicine it is. We don't want people to go self-medicate. Mm -hmm. Go see your doctor. They'll give you the right medicine. But once your child has had a rash that is very, very itchy and has been going on for at least two to four weeks or more and it's just not going away, think scabies. 
So what's the worst thing that could happen if it's left untreated? Children are just uncomfortable and itchy. Oh, itchy, itchy, itchy. Okay, that's yeah. the worst that can happen. That's the worst oh. that can happen. But it can also cause secondary infection mm -hmm. where children end up having bacterial infection from the scratching and um, they can get cellulitis, which is infection of the skin, and then they need antibiotics, oral antibiotics for that. But it's an uncomfortable rash to always be itching all the time. And that's why we call it the itch that rashes. So itchy, itchy, check it out. Ask your doctor about scabies. And um, once you're treated, then everybody's happy and, and the whole family is fine. Okay, thank you, Dr. Sanesi, for this information about scabies. Now, if you've gotten to this point of this video and you have not subscribed to this channel, now is the time to do so. And if you have any questions, please put it down and follow us on our Instagram page. So until next time, thank you for watching this video with us. So bye. Bye.